Hey YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and in this video we're going to take a look at the MacBook Air 11 inch to see how it can handle multiple processes all at once. So in this test we're going to test web browsing, uh, specifically Flash games like Farmville. We're going to test iTunes importing, iMovie importing and processing, iMovie, I'm sorry, iPhoto uh, importing and processing, and Handbrake encoding. And, and keep in mind, I'm also recording this screen with QuickTime screen recording, so that's taking up some processing power as well. So the first thing I want to do is just go to Safari. Right now, I have a few pages open. So I have uh, the Apple web page, Mac Rumors, 9to5Mac, Mac World, Cult of Mac, and Daring Fireball. Now the next thing I want to do is just go to Farmville to launch one of these Flash games. Of course I have to go through a barrage of pop-ups in order to get to the game. Now this is extremely difficult on the Mac. It uses a lot of processing power. So while Farmville is loading, let's go to iPhoto. Let's go ahead and import some photos. I'm just going to go to my desktop and I have my Apple MacBook Air photos. If I open that you should see them in there. So we're going to grab these and import them to iPhoto. So it's importing. There we go. So Farmville is running. Now let's go to iMovie. Let's throw something at this. Let's go to my desktop. And I have a movie here, demo. So we're just going to import that. So now that's importing while iPhoto is still importing those photos. And again, Farmville is playing right here. So I also have TweetDeck running in the background here. And now let's do some encoding. So right now I'm using Remote Disk to process a DVD on my iMac. In this case, it's the first disk of the Caprica series. So I'm just going to go to my desktop, grab Coldplay, drop it into iTunes. And now we're importing iTunes, and you can see TweetDeck throwing up pop-ups. So there we go. We've imported everything into iTunes. Looks like iPhoto is done, and we still have Farmville going over in Safari. And, of course, we're screen recording. It's a little herky-jerky here. Throwing this much at it is operating a little more slowly. But this is actually very similar to the MacBook Pro performance I'm used to, even with 4 gigabytes of RAM and a 2.4 gigahertz Core 2 dual processor. This is still the performance I expect. It's not quite an iMac, uh, but it does it very well. I'm surprised you can throw this much at it. So there you go. We got iMovie done. So let's take this iMovie project, add it, share, export the movie to my desktop. So now we're preparing a project. Now let's import another album while that's happening. Let's go to Coldplay, Viva La Vida, drop it into iTunes. So we got this project processing right now. So there we go. We can go ahead and play Farmville while all that's working. All right, guys, so you can push the limits on the MacBook here. You can throw quite a bit at it, but in reality, you're probably not going to be doing this much processing with a MacBook Air. But if you want to do it, you certainly could get away with it. Uh, you're probably going to get a little discouraged when things start slowing down, but you get the idea. Once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg with a demonstration of the app processing power on the MacBook Air 11-inch. Thanks for watching.